All right, thank you all for joining me for a um, 75 minute Ghost Flow Yoga. I have been going overtime a little bit in this class and I'm going to do my best today to get us out in 75 minutes. Um, this class follows the 26 and two sequence, but adds optional variations in the second set that are from the Vishnu Ghosh lineage of yoga out of Kolkata, which is what 26 and two yoga is based out of. Um, and we will also add some sun salutations just to keep the body warm. So this class is a little bit cardiovascular, uh, it's good for strength building and it's hopefully fun. So we're gonna start with two rounds of sun, or not of sun salutations, we're gonna start with two rounds of pranayama deep breathing. Bring your feet together, toes, heels touching nicely. Interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs and glue your knuckles underneath your chin. Rock your weight into your heels. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. You made it to class. Concentrate, meditate and begin. Inhale, chin down and arms up. Breathe in through your nose. Lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, exhale through your mouth. H-A, sound, head back, arms forward, elbows touch. Good, inhale, chin down, slowly bring your chin down, look straight ahead, lift your elbows all the way up, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back, look way, way, way back for the wall behind you. Arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, breathe in through the nose, down through your throat to the very bottom of your lungs. Exhale, head up. As you exhale, open your mouth wide like you're fogging up a mirror on the ceiling. Look back, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, keep the weight in your heels. Glue your ankle bones together, squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your butt. Exhale, head up, lock your legs, weight stays in your heels, hips a little forward, hip muscles contracting, thigh muscles tight. Inhale, head down as you inhale, suck your stomach in, depression to abdominal wall, contraction to abdominal muscles. Exhale, even as you exhale, belly in, chest up, shoulders down, triceps parallel to the floor. Inhale, head down, this is the last breath in the first set, make your spine a little longer, elbows a little higher, lungs a little fuller, suck your stomach in, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up, take your time, Eyes open, hips forward, legs locked, stomach in, keep exhaling, push, squeeze, elbows touch. Good, change, arms down, you can roll out your shoulders and head. Second set, feet together, interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs, glue your knuckles under your chin. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, grow taller out of the base of your spine, and begin, inhale, chin down and arms up, breathing in through the nose, lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, exhale through your mouth, head back, stretch your arms forward, elbows touch, pointing away from your body. Inhale, head down for one, two, three, four, five, six, full lungs. Exhale, head up, six, five, four, three, two, elbows touch, one. Inhale, head down, use the full six seconds to inhale, take in more and more and more air. Exhale, use the full six seconds to exhale. The more air you push out here, the more oxygen you can take in on your next breath. Inhale, head down. Look straight ahead. Exhale, head up. Elbows touch. Inhale, chin down. Exhale, head up. Inhale, head down. So this breathing exercise is really good for lung vitality or expanding your lung capacity. Exhale, head up. And it's really good for just moving the neck and shoulders at the beginning of class, but you're never forcing your body. Inhale, head down. So just the neck and arms are moving. Try to keep the shoulders down, chest up, spine straight from the side. Exhale, so just your head drops back, no backward bending, no leaning back. Weight in the heels, chest up, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Let's do two more breaths in the second set. Look straight ahead. Can you bring your elbows back as well as up? Good, exhale, head up. Can you grow taller even as you exhale? Thighs tight, glutes tight, stomach in, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. 
Last breath, second set, deepest breath of your life when your lungs are totally full. Surprise yourself, take in one more sip of air. Exhale, head up. Take your time, let everything go through the exhale breath. Any worries, any cares, let them go. Be here now, elbows touch. Good, change, arms down, you can roll out your shoulders and head. We'll continue with three rounds of half moon with hands to feet pose which we will also flow into a little bit of a sun salute uh, variation. I'll explain it all. Feet together, inhale, arms overhead, palms together, interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, hips forward, arms back, stretch up and bend right and left, right and left. Every time you pass through the middle, stretch up a little taller, up over, right, left, stomach in, and then come to stop in the middle. Bring the weight into your heels, Press your hips a little forward, squeeze your palms together, upper body back, touch your biceps to your ears. Inhale, breathing, stretch up out of your waist, try to touch the ceiling. Exhale, breathing, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows and knees, continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility, creating a tremendous stretching feeling on the left side of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes. Keep the weight in your heels, hips a little more forward, squeeze your palms together, upper body back, touch your biceps to your ears. Push your left hip a little forward, two hips in line. Now bring your right shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming, come down, push and push and push. Change, inhale to come up, stop in the middle, hips forward, arms back, stomach in, lift up, and slowly drop to the left as you press your hips to the right. Come down without bending elbows or knees and make sure you can breathe in and out through your nose. So it's always form before depth. In Goshua Yoga, we will explore new depths of postures, but you're never going to a point of pain, point where you're making like an anguished face or a point where you're holding your breath. Let your breath be your guide. As you inhale, lengthen your arms. As you exhale, come down, push, 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 change. Come on up, stop in the middle, first back bend of the day, take a deep breath, full lungs. Keep your eyes open, relax your head back as far as it goes and give your head a gentle shake. Look for the floor behind you, squeeze your butt, lift your chest and bring your arms back with your ears, try to touch the wall behind you. Whole spine backward bending, lower back, middle back, upper back, bend your total spine backward bending. Try to fall down backwards, keep the weight in your heels, push stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward. Bring your arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, good, change. Inhale to come up, stretch up, lengthen. Exhale, bend your knees, go down, arms with your ears, hands to floor, relax your head, go for a walk, move your hips, shake your head. Adasasana, hands to feet pose, stomach in, bend your knees as much as you need, stomach to thighs. Grab the backs of your calves, your Achilles, or eventually grab your heels from underneath, step on all 10 fingers. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, and lift your hips up. Stretch your upper body down from the lower spine to the floor. This is a U-turn from back bending to forward folding. And at the beginning of class, your spine isn't quite warmed up yet, so take it easy here. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, lift your hips up, stretch your spine down. Good. Release the grip from your heels or the backs of your legs. And as you inhale, look forward and lengthen into a halfway lift. We're going to flow into a sun salute. You can have your hands on your thighs your shins or the floor in front of you. Exhale, bend your knees, hands to floor, shoulder width distance. Step back into a high plank or tabletop position. On your next exhale, lower down halfway. Inhale, come up into a back bend. You can do up dog with arms straight and thighs off the floor or cobra pose with elbows bent and thighs on the floor. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, down dog. You can pedal out the legs, bend one knee, straighten the other, and then lift your hip heels up, press your heels to floor, hips to ceiling, drop your head, look towards your thighs behind you. If down dog is not speaking to you, come onto your knees and take a child's pose instead. Sink your hips down, reach your arms forward. So every plank can be a tabletop. Every up dog can be a cobra, and every down dog can be a child's pose. Lots of options within the sequence, and you don't have to do it the exact same way every time, right? Maybe one time you do a child's pose, one time you do a down dog, it's up to you. On your next inhale, hands to the floor, look forward, step forward, and lengthen back into your halfway lift, back flat, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, bend your knees and fold, relax your head. Inhale, root to rise, arms of your ears, hands together, lift up. Knees can bend, look up overhead. 
exhale, hands down. Wonderful. Second set, feet together, inhale, arms overhead, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs. Keep the weight in your heels, push your hips a little forward, squeeze your palms together, stretch up, and slowly drop to the right as you press your hips to the left. Lift your kneecaps, squeeze your butt, lift your chin, engage your abdominal wall, lift your chest, drop your shoulders and breathe in and out through the nose. So even though we're stretching the left side body, um, we are using our strength here, right? Arms with ears, weight in the heels, lift the chin, engage the abdominal wall, come down, push, chin up, come down, push, chest up, come down, push. Change, inhale to come up, hips forward, arms back, stretch up, and slowly drop to the left as you press your hips to the right. Come down in a straight line without bending your elbows and knees. Keep the weight in your heels, hips a little more forward, upper body back, touch your biceps to your ears. Push your right hip forward, get your two hips in line. Now bring your left shoulder a little forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming. Inhale, lengthen the arms, exhale, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up, second heart opener, deep breath, full lungs. Keep your eyes open, relax your head all the way back as far as it goes. Squeeze your butt, lift your chest, and bring your arms back with your ears. Imagine you're tracing your fingers along the ceiling, down the back wall, whole spine backward bending, whole front of the body stretching, keep the weight in your heels, push stomach, thighs, hips forward, arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Good, change, inhale to come up, stretch up. Exhale, bend your knees and go down with a flat back. You wanna hinge at your hips. Hands to floor, relax your head, pedal out your legs again. Notice what's maybe a little bit more loose in the second set, what's still a little tight and tender, there's no right or wrong. Second set, padasthasana, bend your knees halfway. You can grab the backs of your legs or your heels from underneath, pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes and lift your hips up, stretch your upper body down from the lower spine to the floor. Keep stomach on thighs, chest on knees, face to the shins below the knees, no room for light and air between the upper and lower body. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, lift your hips up, push your knees back, stretch. Good, change, lengthen into a halfway lift. Again, you can have your hands on your thighs, your shins, or eventually the floor in front of you. Exhale, hands to floor, shoulder width distance, step back into your high plank or tabletop. On your next exhale, lower down. Inhale into your up dog or cobra. Exhale, your down dog or child's pose. Spread your fingers wide, root down through all 28 knuckles, especially the space between your index fingers and thumb. Hug your elbows in. Roll the shoulders back and down and tuck your chin in gently to your chest. Look for your thighs behind you. Slow inhale, slow exhale. Inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms with your ears, stomach in. Knees can bend as you come up. Exhale, hands down. Wonderful, last one goes a little fast. Feet together, arms up, palms together. This time, just cross your thumbs. Hips forward, arms back, stretch up, and slowly drop to the right. Relax your jaw, push your hips to the left for five, four, three, two, one. Change, inhale to come up, hips forward, arms back, stretch up, and slowly drop to the left as you push your hips to the right. Relax your jaw, keep the weight in your heels, arms with your ears, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up, third heart opener, deep breath, full lungs, keep your eyes open. Drop your head back, squeeze your butt, and go back. Change, inhale to come up, stretch up. Exhale, go down. No warm up, just grab the backs of your legs or your heels. Pull, roll your weight into your toes. Lift your hips up, push your knees back. Try to lock your legs, lock your legs, lock your legs. Change, inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, hands to floor. Now there's a third option I'm gonna show you. You can hop back. And if you hop back, you're gonna land with your elbows bent already in your chaturanga. Inhale, your up dog. Exhale, down dog. For the down dog, keep your hands shoulder width distance, but you can separate your feet more if that helps you get your heels to the floor. Push the floor away from you, hips up, heels down. One day crown of the head comes down close to the floor. Slow inhale, slow exhale. On your next inhale, look forward. You can step or try floating, hopping forward, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your eyes, lift up. Exhale, hands down. 
Wonderful, awkward, ukatasana, step your right foot to the right, six inches hip width distance, insides of your feet parallel, arms up parallel to the floor, tricep muscles tight, stomach in, bend your knees, sit back and down into a chair. Feet flat position, spine straight to begin with, 100% of your body weight in your heels. Sit down halfway only, hips into a chair, and start to lean back, lift your chin up, chest up, lean back, fall back, way back. Good, change, inhale to come up, keep your arms there, push your hips a little forward, spread your toes wide, Come up maximum on your tiptoes. Lift your heels, stretch up, bend your knees, sit down. So we're starting to play with balance, heels a little higher, knees a little higher, sit down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Change, inhale to come up. Last part, squeeze your knees together. Let your heels come a little bit off the floor and slowly sit down. Take your time, you can stop whenever you want or keep sitting down until there's a half inch gap between your hips and heels. Squeeze your knees together and forward, lift your chest, Soften your shoulders, re-engage your fingertips, change, slowly come up, take your time, good. Right foot back, arms down. Second set, you can do just like first set, or I'll provide some optional variations, it is all optional. Second set, step your right foot to the right hip with distance, you can have your arms up parallel to the floor, or hands at heart center, stomach in, bend your knees, sit back and down. Option to stay here or take left elbow to right outer thigh and look up towards the ceiling. Try to get your thumbs and your sternum center line of your body right rather than on your right pectoral. Option to stay here or reach your arms up, six and 12 o'clock. Left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. Bring your hips a little to the left. Good, bring your hands back together in prayer. Unwind, other side, take right elbow to outer left knee and twist. Again, try to get your thumbs up heart center rather than on left pectoral. Option to stay here or open your arms wide. Stretch the arms apart. Move your hips a little to the right so that your hips are even. Look up. Good. Hands back together. Unwind. Everybody come on up. Change. Keep your hands at heart center. Spread your toes wide. Lift your heels. Stretch up. Bend your knees. Sit down. The second part I'm going to show you from the side. You can lean forward and bring the arms back. So thumbs towards the floor, pinkies towards the ceiling, palms facing one another. Normally in the second part, you would want to lean back. But in this one, you can lean forward. Might help you sit down all the way. Good, change, inhale to come up, balance challenge. Try to keep your heels lifted. Bring your arms up parallel to the floor. That's your counterbalance. Squeeze your knees together. Let your heels come a little off the floor if they're not already, and slowly sit down. So eventually the heels stay off the floor between the second and third part. Stop when there's still a little bit of a gap between your hips and your heels. Squeeze your knees together and forward. If you have healthy knees and you'd like to test your balance, come up one inch and hold. Come up one more inch and hold and then change, slowly push the floor away from you. Feet together, arms down, optional sun salute. Inhale, lift your arms up, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, hold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, you can step or hop back. If you're floating back, you wanna land with elbows bent. Inhale, your up dog or cobra. Exhale, your child's pose or down dog. And remember, you can do like child's pose one time and dog, down dog one time. You can do plank or a tabletop. We're floating back, it's up to you. Take a slow inhale, slow exhale. Inhale, look forward, step forward. You can float or step forward, lengthen halfway. Exhale, hold, inhale, lift up. Exhale, swing right arm under left arm, eagle pose. Right under left, palms together, thumbs towards your nose. You can also interlock fingers, grab a thumb or grab opposite shoulders. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit down into a chair. Stay down there and bring your right leg over your left leg, right leg over left leg, cross twist, and eventually wrap your right foot behind your left calf muscle. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, swing your upper body back. Bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left, twist like ropes, sit down a little bit lower, bring your upper body back at the end. Good, change. Feet together, arms over your head, left side, eagle. Bring your left arm zoom, under your right arm, left under right, palms together, Thumbs towards your nose. Pull elbows down, bend your knees, sit down, stay down there, and bring your left leg over your right leg. Left over right, cross twist, and eventually wrap your left foot behind your right calf. On this side, bring your knees to the left and upper body to the right. You want wrists over elbows, elbows over knees, knees over ankle, weight back in your heel, sit a little bit lower, lean your upper body back. Good, change feet together, arms over your head, second set. Swing right arm under left arm. Try to get wrist straight and fingers in line. That's like a lifetime of work right there. Pull elbows down, sit down.
stay down there and bring right leg over left leg cross twist make sure you're breathing we're transitioning into the balancing part of class sometimes when we balance we get like really serious or we hold our breath make sure face is relaxed breath is easy push your left hip forward right shoulder forward sit down and lean back change feet together arms over your head last one left arm under right arm notice if one shoulder is higher than the other bring your hands to the left pull the right shoulder down sit down stay down there and bring left leg over right leg left over right cross twist if your foot is coming out sit down more if you're losing your balance arch your upper body back bring your knees to the left upper body to the right twist like ropes sit down a little bit lower bring your upper body back the end good change feet together arms over your head optional sun salute inhale look up exhale fold inhale lengthen exhale step or float back lower down inhale up dog exhale down dog try to get heels to the floor hips to the ceiling spread your shoulders wide hug your elbows in root down through all 28 knuckles inhale look forward step or float forward lengthen halfway lift exhale fold inhale lift up hands together exhale arms down party time you can grab a sip of water if you want cheers friends Okay, wonderful. Let us continue. Standing head to knee pose, followed by standing bow pulling pose. So we're gonna do two balancing postures back to back. We're gonna go from our rounded spine, abdomen compression posture, straight into our back bends, uh, abdomen stretching posture. Starting with standing head to knee, Dande Amana, Johnny Shrasana, shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg, lift your right thigh up, can point your toes, Flex your toes, keep your toes flexed back to your face. Stomach in, round down and pick up your right foot. All 10 fingers interlocked, nice tight white knuckle grip. Standing legs should be solid, concrete, one piece, lamp post, unbroken. You have no knee. If you've been coming for a while, you know your left leg is locked, no bend, no wobble. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently, lift your right leg up. Stretch it forward until your right leg is exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower, standing leg locked. If both legs lock, start to bend elbows down. Touch elbows to calf muscles, bring your chest down more. One day elbows go below the calf muscles. Lock your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee. Change, slowly reverse out. Try to keep your right thigh lifted. From here, point your right toes. Bring your right thigh back, knees together. Bring your right hand up, out to the right. Reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Pick up the inside of your right foot. Bring your left arm up, right hip forward, knees together. Squeeze your left kneecap, point your right toes, stretch up and slowly charge your body forward. Whew. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up. Take your time. If your left calf muscle is screaming right now, I'm right there with you. Relax your left toes, lift your left kneecap, evenly distribute your body weight on your left foot. Slowly slide left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. Keep your chin and chest lifted as you bring the abdomen parallel to the floor. Body down more, leg up more, kick, kick, kick. Good, change slowly, kick yourself up. Let's do the other side. Shift your weight to your right leg, evenly distribute your body weight on your right foot. Lift your left thigh up, point your toes, flex your toes. Keep your toes flexed back. It's a great way to stretch the Achilles and calf. Stomach in, from here start to round down and eventually pick up your left foot. All 10 fingers interlocked, webbing to webbing grip. Contract your inner thigh as well as your outer thigh. Squeeze your butt cheek. And when you're ready, lift your left leg up. And it's a real kick your heel forward, flex your toes back, should feel really good to stretch that left calf, left Achilles. If both legs lock, puff up your chest and bend elbows down. Touch elbows to calf muscles, bring your chest and shoulders down more. One day elbows go below the calf muscles. Hold here for three, two, one. Change, slowly reverse out. Point your left toes, bring your knees together, left hand up, out to the left, reach back, pick up the inside of your left foot at the ankle bone. Right arm up and back with your ear. Squeeze your right thigh, point your left toes, take a breath, stretch up and slowly charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick your left leg back and up. Slowly bring the body down and the leg up. See the foot come directly over the top of your head from the side, two heels in line. 
Kick back and up, in other words, two shoulders in line. Touch your chin to your shoulder, shoulder blade, scapula coming out of the body. Kicking, stretching, equal. Simultaneous 50-50, the harder you kick, you can balance forever. Body down more, leg up more. Kick, kick, kick. Good, change slowly. Kick yourself up, feet together, arms down, take a breath. Building a little bit of endurance, a little bit of determination, tenacity, grit. Second set, shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg, lift your right thigh up, flex your toes back, stomach in, round down. So head to knee pose, we're rounding the spine, compressing the front of the body, and flexing the foot back towards the face. When you're ready, lift your right leg up. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles, slowly tuck your chin to your chest, put your forehead on your knee, and if you can balance here, maybe even let go of your foot. Good, when you're ready, hands back. Take your time as you come up, step by step. Okay, try to keep that right thigh lifted. Point your right toes, bring your knees together, right arm up and back, pick up the inside of your right foot, left arm up, take a moment here, find your balance. Squeeze your left thigh, point your right toes, stretch up, and slowly kick stretch and breathe. So whereas head to knee pose was about compressing the front of the body and rounding the spine, standing bow is about bending the spine and stretching the front of the body, right? It's a back bend. Rather than flexing your right toes, you're pointing your right toes. So you wanna engage your right hamstring so you can kick even harder. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. Body down more, leg up more, kick, kick, kick. Good, change slowly. Kick yourself up. Last one, shift your weight to your right leg, contract inner thigh as well as outer thigh. Lift your left leg up, flex your toes back, stomach in, round down, pick up your left foot, concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun when you're ready. I'm already wobbling. When you're ready, lift your left leg up. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles and you can balance slowly, tuck your chin to your chest, put your forehead on your knee, and maybe even let go of your foot a little bit. Good, when you're ready, change. Slowly come up, step by step, I'll meet you there. Standing bow, bring your knees together, point your left toes, left hand up, out to the left, pick up the inside of your left foot, left hip forward and down, right arm up and back. Squeeze right thigh, point left toes, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, and breathe. This is a little bit of a cardio crescendo in class. Kick into your hand, stretch forward, breathe through your nose. Body down to parallel, big toe up to the ceiling. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. Kick, kick, kick. Good, change. Slowly kick yourself up. So in the balancing series, we round the spine, then we bend the spine, and now we wanna stretch the spine. Come to the back of your mat, Tula Dandasana balancing stick. Feet together, a flat back posture. Arms overhead. Palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, and lean back. Step your right foot forward a big step. Shift your weight to your right leg, stretch up, point your left toes, and tilt. Arms, body, head, legs, everything parallel to the floor. From the side, body makes a T like Tom, not a broken umbrella. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Change, left foot down, right foot back, lean back, step your left foot forward, stretch up, Point your right toes, keep stretching, and tilt like a slow moving seesaw. It's a short posture, but you still want to go down slowly with control. Chest down, chin forward, lift your right leg up, stretch. Change, right foot down, left foot back, arms down. You're welcome to do second set of balancing stick, or I will offer um, a little bit of an alternative called split arm. I'll show you from the side. Feet together, arms overhead. Palms together, this time just cross your thumbs, lean back, step your right foot forward, stretch up, point your left toes, squeeze both butt cheeks, and slowly tilt. You're gonna come down parallel to the floor, just like balancing stick, and from here, keep coming down, split your arms, that's why it's called split arm, it's not very original. Try to touch your stomach to your thigh, but keep looking forward, chin and chest lifted, lift your left big toe all the way to the ceiling, lift the left leg up, stretch. Good, change, left foot down, hands together, arms up, right foot back, lean back, other side, step your left foot forward, stretch up, point your right toes and tilt. So lift your kneecaps, engage your abdominal wall, split your arms, 
Try to do the standing splits, right big toe to the ceiling, stomach down, keep your chin and chest lifted. So chest forward, lift your heel up, heel up, heel up, stretch. Good, change, right foot down, hands together, left foot back, optional sun salute, inhale, look up, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, step or hop back into your high plank or tabletop. Keep exhaling, lower down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, child's pose or down dog. Take a slow inhale through your nose. Slow exhale through your nose. I have to tell you, I'm doing child's pose instead of down dog right now, and it is pretty delightful. So if you haven't taken one yet already, that is always an option on your next inhale. Look forward, step forward, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, lift up. Exhale, hands down. Oop, exhale, step your right foot to the right. Big step, sorry, arms down parallel to the floor. We're gonna flow into standing. Separate leg stretching, Dande Mana Bikaptapada, Hashimotanasana. Turn your toes in, heels out, lock your legs, lift your chest, and swan dive forward. That's just a fun flourish, I think, to go from one to the next. It's not necessary, it's just pretty. Okay, grab your heels from behind, bend your elbows back. If you can't grab your heels, you can grab the outsides of your feet, maybe hook onto a pinky toe to pull, or you can always start with your hands on the floor in front of you. Roll forward, hips up, squeeze your thighs, lock your legs. This is the first posture in the separate leg series. It is called the separate leg series because our legs are separated, right? And depending on your body proportions, you might need to take a bigger or smaller step in this posture and the next two. Change, slowly come up, keep your feet wide apart. We're gonna flow to our version of triangle trikonasana. Push your hips forward, lean your upper body back, turn your right foot out, maybe left heel out a little bit, bend your right leg and lunge. You might need to take a bigger step here. Bend your right knee as low as you can sit, keep your spine straight in the middle and move your arms. Right elbow in front of the knee, left arm up to the ceiling, look up towards the ceiling, touch your chin to your shoulder and breathe. Push your left hip forward and down, push your right knee back with the help of your elbow, lift your right side torso off of your right thigh, turn, twist upper body back, lock your left leg, left foot, flat on the floor, change. Rotate your arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in, other side, left toes out. Make sure your heels are in line, not crisscross. Okay, inhale, bend your left leg and lunge. Sit as low as you can, lean back and move your arms. Just the elbow in front of the knee. Make sure it's not the tricep or armpit in front of the knee. Look up, touch your chin to your shoulders, stretch up. Drop your right thigh down, bend your left knee. Push elbow into knee, turn, twist, open your chest. Sit down more, chest up more, lock your right leg. Keep your right foot flat on the floor. Change, rotate your arms, push the left heel into the floor to come up. Left toes in, arms up, palms together, thumbs crossed, standing separate leg, head to knee. Johnny Sharasana, pivot on your heels to one side of the room. Turn your back, left toes in. So bring your heel out, toes in. Push your left hip forward, one, two, three, four, five times. Two hips in line, two heels in line. Backside foot makes a 45 degree angle. Stretch out first. Hands together, tuck your chin to your chest, go down, arms with your ears, chin to chest, stomach in. Once hands touch the floor, you can take a bigger step, bend your right leg as much as you need, try to touch your knee and head together, front side compression, throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal. Push your forehead into your knee a couple times real quick, lock both legs, hands together, Change, slowly uncurl, left hip forward, left shoulder forward, full stop at the top. Good, pivot on your heels to the other side of the room, uncross your heels, turn your back toes in, push right hip forward, peel left rib cage back, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. Notice if your wrists or elbows start to bend. Try to keep palms flat together, arms with ears, chin to chest. Again, you can bend your front leg if you need to, touch knee and head together. Front side compression, throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal. Stretch your fingers beyond your big and second toe. Bring maximum weight to your front leg, left hip up, right hip forward, two hips in line. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together. Change, slowly uncurl, right hip forward, right shoulder forward, full stop at the top. Good, pivot on your heels, step your right foot back, arms down. Option to do second set of those postures, just like we did first set, or I will provide some fun variations. Arms overhead, palms together. Step your right foot to the right, big step. 
chest up and swan dive forward. So you can do stretching Paschimottanasana by grabbing your feet, full stretch, try to touch your head to the floor in between your feet. You can also try what's called garland pose or malasana squatting pose. Put your hands on the floor in front of you and bring your feet closer together. Turn your heels in and your toes out. Bend your knees and sit down. So eventually heels touch the floor. You can put your hands together in prayer and push the elbows out. At first, we lean forward a lot with our heels off the floor. That's really normal. Eventually, heels come down. This is a great hip opener. Um, and the distance between your heels depends on your anatomy. So you might want three feet between your feet. For me, I need a shorter step, but it's up to you. If you're having trouble getting your heels on the floor, try taking a little bit of a bigger step. Good. When you're ready, hands to floor. Lift your hips up. Turn your heels back out, so toes point forward first. So heels out, toes in, bring your arms out and change. Slowly come up. Second set, triangle, especially if you did squatting pose, you want a bigger step. Push your hips forward, lean back, turn your right foot out. Option to do a second set of um, 26 and two version trikonasana where the right knee bends or slide to the right and then come down. I'm, I'm, we're entering this posture a little bit different today. Option to put your right hand on the floor in front of your foot can also have your hand on your shin or your ankle, eventually hand in front of the foot, look up towards the ceiling. This is more of a vinyasa style triangle. You can stay right here or bend your right leg. Take your right hand in between your legs like you're trying to pat your own butt. Uh, drape your left hand behind you, see if you can catch your hands together and then walk your feet back together for Bird of Paradise. Shift your weight to your left leg, stomach in and start to lift up. If you can stand up tall, start to kick your right foot forward. I don't know if I can today. Start to kick your right foot forward, press your hips forward and open your chest like a flower petal blooming. Whew. When you're ready, right foot back down to the floor, take a bigger step, rotate your arms six and 12 o'clock. Everybody change, rotate your arms, straighten your right leg if it's not already, right toes in, left toes out, other side, lean to the left, put your hand on your thigh and slide down. Right arm up. Again, at first the hand can be on the shin or the ankle, eventually left hand in front of your left foot. So really great stretch to the spine and inner thigh. Look up. Option to stay here or bend your left knee. Take your left hand in between your legs like you're trying to spat your own butt. Take your right hand behind you. Catch your hands together. Awkwardly walk your feet back together. Shift your weight to your right leg and lift up. If you can lift up, kick the left leg up. Press your hips forward, lift your chest up. This is the closest many of us will ever get to being in the Rockettes. Okay, good. <laughs> take your left foot back down to the floor. Take a wider step. Arms six and 12 o'clock. Change, rotate your arms. Straighten your leg if it's not already. Left toes in, arms up. Pivot on your heels, standing separate leg head to knee. Option to keep your arms up, or you can try taking your hands behind you, either holding one hand in the other, or eventually bringing your hands together in prayer. Stretch up, I'm gonna stand back a little bit, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Chin to chest, stomach in, touch your forehead and knee together. If you have your hands behind you, you can interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, and then lift your arms up and forward for a nice shoulder rinse. Bring your hands back down to your lower back or walk your hands back together. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together, change, slowly uncurl, push your right foot into the floor as you unwind, and <clears throat> head up last. Pivot on your heels to the other side of the room, uncross your heels, push your right hip forward, stretch up, and go down, chin to chest, stomach in. This is a compression posture. When we touch our forehead and knee together, we start to compress the front of the body. And if you have your hands behind you, you can interlock fingers, Release index fingers, cross thumbs, and lift your hands up and forward. It's a great way to open through the shoulders. Bring your hands back to the lower back. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together if they're in front of you. Change, slowly come up, push the left foot into the floor, chin to chest, head up, last. Good, pivot on your heels, step your right foot back, arms down, this is our second to last optional um, sun salute, inhale, lift your arms up, look up, exhale, fold, inhale, lengthen, exhale, step or float back, keep exhaling, lower down, inhale, up dog or cobra, 
exhale, down dog or child's pose. If you're doing down dog, try to get heels to floor again. Make sure you're not putting all of your body weight in your wrists, like really put your body weight in your knuckles and in the space between your thumb and index finger. Slow inhale, slow exhale. Inhale, look forward, step or float forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands together, lift up. Exhale, hands down. Wonderful, tree pose. Shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg and lift your right leg up. Touch your heel to your costume. Slowly, gently let your right knee drop down and back. Right hand up to the center of your chest and if you can balance, left hand up. Option one, stay here. Option two, take your right hand behind you and catch your big toe. Right big toe with right hand for a bind. This is like a half lotus bind, but from standing. Option three, float a toe stand, fold forward. Hands to floor, lean forward, lift your heel, bend your knee, sit down. Walk your hands back to either sides of your hips. Bring your left hand up to the center of your chest. And if you can balance right hand. And from here, if you'd like, try sliding your right foot forward and eventually kick out and then bring it back in. If you fall out 10 times, hop back in 11. Okay, when you're ready, hands to floor. You can come up on two feet or lift your hips up to straighten your standing leg and then push your hips forward to reverse out or to step out like I did, change right leg down, squeeze your right thigh, lift your left leg up, heel to costume, let left knee drop, left hand up, and if you can balance right hand. Option to stay here or wrap your right left hand behind you, try to grab left big toe with left hand while simultaneously pushing left hip forward so hips stay in line. Or option three, hands together, toe stand, fold forward, hands to floor, lean forward, lift your heel, bend your knee, sit down. If you wanna try kicking out, it can be helpful to slide your left foot forward first. Left hand and right hand, and then see if you can kick forward and maybe draw the foot back in. Good, whenever you're ready, hands to floor, you can come up on two feet or lift your hips up to straighten your standing leg and then push your hips forward to reverse out. Very nice, change left leg down, last optional sun salute, inhale, lift your arms up, look up, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, stop or float back, lower down, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Last one, let's take three slow ujjayi breaths here, like you're putting your ear to a shell at the beach, slow inhale, slow exhale. Inhale, look forward, step or float forward, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, lift up. Exhale, hands down. Wonderful, good for you. We are on the floor for the rest of class. I'm gonna adjust our camera angle. Lie down with your head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Heels close together, let your toes fall open. Arms down by your sides. Palms face the ceiling. Eyes open, mouth closed, breathing normal. Notice where you might be holding on to tension in your body. Just let it go through the exhale breath. Sometimes I like to think about my exhale breaths almost like a foam roller. Like with every exhale, you're just foam rolling out a part of your body. It's a little bit tense. So with every exhale, you let your body get a little heavier and your spirit a little lighter. Kavana Muttasana, when you're moving pose, bend your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, grab your right shin just below the knee, nice tight white knuckle grip, pull your knee out to the right, down towards your shoulder, completely avoid your rib cage. Keep your head on the floor, Look down the center line of your body, pull down extra hard, maximum pressure in your lower abdomen. Change, right leg down, bend your left leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, pull your knee out and down. Try to keep your right leg on the floor. If your right calf muscle doesn't naturally touch the floor, you can flex your right toes back to your face. Change, left leg down, both legs lift up, grab your elbows, each other, give yourself a big hug for coming to class. Good for you, squeeze your knees together and down. Keep your head on the floor. Look down the center line of your body and breathe. 
eventually or in the future when the bone joint skeletal system has improved, the whole spine from coccyx to the neck will be flat on the floor. Good, change. Arms down and eyes open. You're welcome to do second set of wind removing pose, or I will share some optional different kind of hip lower body openers. So you can do second set of Kabana Mikasana, or you can try figure four with me. Bend your legs so that your feet are on the floor, knees resting side by side. Keep your left foot on the floor, lift your right foot off the floor. Turn your right knee to the right and place your right ankle shin area on top of your left upper thigh so that if you look down the center line of your body, your two legs make a little bit of a four shape. That's why it's called figure four. Option to stay here or lift your left foot off the floor and start to hug your thighs in towards your abdomen. You can grab you know, the outsides of your thighs or maybe interlace your fingers behind your left thigh or grab your knees and pull down a little bit more. This is a great posture to stretch the outer right thigh, in particular the sciatic nerve that runs from the lower back down the leg. Uh, if you ever have sciatica or if you know somebody who's complaining about having sciatica, um, tell them to try this posture. It's a really good posture for stretching out that long pinched nerve. Okay, change. Release the grip on your knees or hands. Bring your left foot back down to the floor, right foot back down to the floor. Other side, lift your left foot up, the left ankle shin on top of right thigh. Lift your right foot off the floor and pull down. Again, you can use your hands to pull down more or just keep your hands down by your side. Notice if you're rolling to one side, try to get two shoulders, two hips, pull back flat on the floor. Change right foot down, left foot down, and then lift both legs up. And if you'd like to join me in happy baby, keep your knees bent, open your legs wide, flex your toes back to your face and see if you can catch the outsides of your feet with your hands. So elbows insides of the knees, and then you hold on to your feet from outside of the knees. Um, if you can't grab your feet, try grabbing the backs of your thighs. And then from here, you can roll back and forth side to side. It's a great way to kind of massage out the back. Maybe as you roll to the left, you straighten your left leg. As you roll to the right, you straighten your right leg. I have a friend with a five month old baby and she always sends me pictures of her baby doing happy baby. <laughs> it is such a delight to look at. So that's why it's called <clears throat> happy baby. Okay, come back to the center, release the grip on your feet and change. Arms down, eyes open. She actually sends me a lot of pictures of her baby doing like really advanced yoga postures. And I'm always like, uh, we're all just trying to get back to that five month old status, right? Where it's like, oh, you mean putting a foot behind my head? No problem, super easy, right? Okay, so <laughs> from here, we're gonna do a straight leg sit up. If you have any concerns about your back, please get the sit up, roll off to the side and meet us on your stomach, no problem. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, flex your feet, tuck your chin to your chest and sit up. Arms with ears. <laughs> Round your spine, elbows to floor, forehead to knee. Good. Turn and lie on your stomach for the spine strengthening series. So 26 and 2 yoga is based out of a larger sequence of 84 postures created by a man named Vishnu Ghosh. In Vishnu Ghosh's version of yoga, um, we do a lot of postures and repetition without breaks. So we're going to do the whole spine strengthening series once through take a break and then do it again. Starting with Cobra Bhujangasana, hands flat on the floor, just below the shoulders, elbows point up to the ceiling, feet together, toes, heels touch, lock your legs, look up and lift. Stretch your upper body off the floor, use 100% spine strength, come up halfway only, just your belly button on the floor, the rest of your chest is in the air. Elbows stay bent, they make an L, a 90 degree angle, like a rectangle. Hug your arms into your sides, stretch elbows down to the hips, shoulders down away from the ears, Keep your feet together, lock your legs, push your feet down, hips down, hands down, look up, chin up, chest up, stretch up, breathe up. Good, change, slowly lower down. Keep your chin forward, bring your arms down by your sides, palms face the floor, knuckles face the ceiling for locust, shalabhasana. Option to keep your arms out to the side with palms face down, or as you're ready, start to bring your arms underneath you, creating a little bit of a tourniquet effect on the arms. One day pinky fingers touch, but hands never overlap. Lock your right leg, point your right toes, and lift your right leg up to a 45 degree angle, half of 90. See the foot come directly over the top of your head. Hold and breathe for five, four, three, two, 
one, change, slowly right leg down, relax right leg, walk your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. Try to keep your hip and forearm in contact so your two hips are in line. Spiral your inner left thigh up, bring your left pinky toe down, sole of left foot flat to the ceiling. Change, left leg down. Third part, tuck your chin and mouth down. You can bring your arms a little closer underneath you. Try to keep hips and forearms in um, contact. It's really good for leverage. Mouth down, shoulders down, squeeze your butt, walk your legs, point your toes, and lift both legs up, roll forward, come up, everybody come up, you can do it, knees together, feet together, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, lift your thighs, hold here, breathe, shoulders down, lock your legs, change, slowly lower down, bring your arms out to the side like airplane wings for full locus, Pranishalabhasana, feet together, toes, heels touch, lock your legs, point your toes, squeeze your butt, look up, and lift, arms, body, head, legs, everything lifts off the floor, so nice, 747 taking off just your hip bones on the floor the rest of your body's in the air look up towards the ceiling where your eyes go body nose to follow feet together lift your thighs up chin up chest up look up come up a little higher at the end good change slowly with control lower down dhanarasana floor bow last in the sequence chin forward bend your legs grab your feet from the outside always have to adjust my stomach a little bit to make my torso a little bit longer here Grab your feet. I don't know what that says about me. Grab your feet, point your toes, squeeze your butt, look up towards the ceiling and start to kick into your hands. Continuously keep kicking without stopping your intermission. Roll forward once, freeze between your ribs and hips, hold still. Do little sips of air in and out through your nose. Try to bring knees in, so knees, feet and hips uh, all in the same line. Point your toes, look up to the ceiling, kick, kick, kick. Good, change, slowly lower down, look to your right, left ear on your mat, arms down, heels open. So, you know, to introduce who Vishnu Ghosh was, there's a lot of different like ways that I could describe him, right? I could say like the yogi Vishnu Ghosh or um, the guru Vishnu Ghosh. I could even say he was a weightlifter, right? I could see the weightlifter Vishnu Ghosh. Um, but I choose to call him a human because one thing about different lineages of yoga that's important to remember is at the end of the day, <laughs> they're all decided by like some guy a hundred years ago who was like, it makes sense to do locust first and then floor bow, right? At the end of the day, it was just a human making a choice about um, what postures fit and what don't in their sequence of yoga. And that's true like across the board in all different like schools, lineages, styles of yoga. So just keep that in mind. Um, this class, I'm doing it in a way that I hope to honor the roots of this style of yoga, to honor Vishnu Ghosh, but keep in mind that if something that like he recommended or that Bikram recommended doesn't work for you, you are always your best guru, your best teacher, you're your own guide, right? So just keep that in mind. If you ever need to do like a modification, um, that is totally fine. Second set, you're welcome to do the same, or sorry, lift your head first, look to your left, right ear on your mat. My bad. We're going to twist the neck in the other direction first. I got a little ahead of myself. Take a slow inhale through your nose. Slow exhale through your nose. Just foam rolling out any tension through the exhale breath. Okay, second set I'm going to show you from the side. You can do second set as you did first set, or you can try some fun variations. So second set, starting with Cobra, bring your chin forward, hands flat on the floor. You can stay right here, or you can walk your hands back another few inches so your thumbs are in line with your lower ribs. Have your feet about mat width distance. Press your feet down, lock your legs, squeeze your butt, push your hands down, and lift. Option to stay here or try to straighten your arms. Now notice right away if the hips come off the floor and the shoulders tense, try to press the hips down and the shoulders back, right? So this is more, we're going into full cobra. Squeeze your butt more than you think you can. Drop your shoulders down, option to stay here or relax your head back and then see if you can bend your knees and eventually touch toes and head together. Good, bring your feet back down to the floor and then slowly uncurl, look forward. Look at Shalabhasana, bring your arms straight position, palms face the floor, bring your arms underneath you. Option to do second set of locust as you did first, or tuck your toes under, stick your butt up, and try to bend your legs so that your knees touch your fingers. Now notice I can talk here, I can even move my head. You wanna feel the weight in your shoulders, but not your neck or your throat. Lock your right leg, point your right toes, and lift your right leg up. And if you have that left toe tucked under, you can even straighten the left leg and then you really feel the weight in your shoulders. Good, if you have the left leg straight, then the left leg down, change, 
right leg down, let's do the other side, walk your left leg, point your left toes, lift your left leg up. Eventually you wanna feel all the weight in your shoulders, but you should still be able to breathe. The weight is not in your neck spine. Change, right leg down, left leg down. Whew, grand finale, you can tuck your chin in, feet together, lock your legs, both legs up. Maybe try opening the feet and then closing the feet so you can lift up more, or you can try kicking both legs all the way over the top of your head. Good, change, slowly lower down. Whew, Purna Shalavasana, full locus, arms out to the side like you're playing wings. You can have your feet together or feet about mat width distance. If you're keeping your feet mat width distance, you're gonna try and keep your feet on the floor rather than lifting them up. Lock your legs, point your toes, look up and lift. And if you're keeping your feet on the floor, you're gonna really try to lift up, maybe even grab your thighs. Thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change slowly, lower down, Dhanurasana, floor boat, chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside, or walk your hands around and grab your feet from the inside. You can place your thumb in between your big toe and second toe. So this grip is a little bit more like standing, but right, grabbing the feet from the inside. Point your toes, squeeze your butt, look up and kick, try to get your thighs off the floor. Option to stay here, or if you have the grip on the insides of your feet, you can try a fun shoulder rotation going into full floor bow. So you're gonna bend your left elbow out and forward, right elbow out and forward, one day head and toes touch. If you are in full bow, you're gonna release your left foot with your left hand and then release right foot to right hand, hands down and change. Everybody slowly lower down. Look to your right, left ear on your mat. And then lift your head, look to your left, right here on your mat. Send deep belly breaths in and out through your nose to massage the front of your body. Breathe deep into any point of tension. Okay, bring your chin forward, hands to the floor about mat width distance. Option to do five push ups here. I'm gonna do them on my knees. So, with push ups, you want your elbows at a 45 degree angle versus with sun salutes. If you're doing the chaturangas, you want your elbows in. Just notice that difference. Okay, good, change, come on up. I'm gonna show you from the side, just like we um, flowed all of the spine strengthening postures together, we're gonna to flow all of the fixed firm postures together. Open your knees, open your feet, and as you're ready, slowly walk your hands back for Sutta Vajrasana. Remember, you can keep your hands in front of you, beside you, or behind you the whole time. One day, sit between your heels, put your palms on your soles, right elbow down, left elbow down, drop your head back, head to floor, Tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows each other and hold. Wherever you are, it's just perfect. You want a gentle stretch through your toes, ankles, knees, and hips, never a point of pain. This posture and the next three are called the fixed firm series because you want the tops of your feet, ankles, shins, and knees fixed firmly in the floor. So knees never lift up. Good, change. Put your hands on your feet, push yourself up. Head up lats, come to the middle of your mat with your knees and feet together, hips on your heels, half tortoise, Ardha Karmasana. Inhale, arms overhead, palms together, only cross your thumbs, stretch up. Exhale, fold forward with a flat back. I'm gonna run into my TV stand here, forehead to floor. Little fingers to floor. Reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, palms together. Try to get elbows and wrists off the floor. One more time, reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, stretch. Stretch, stretch. Good, change, come on up, arms with ears. Very nice, arms down, stand up on your knees, six inches between your knees and your feet for camel ustrasana, a back bend. Place your hands on your lower back, thumbs outside, fingers down to the floor. Take a moment here, get your bearings. Keep your eyes open, start to look up. Lift your nose, lift your chin. One day, relax your head back. Option to stay here with your hands on your back or keep your hands on your back. Go back halfway, freeze in the middle. Option to stay here or when you're ready, right hand down, grab your right heel. Left hand down, grab your left heel. Thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. Push your hips forward, lift your chest up, drop your head back, look for your toes behind you. Good, put your hands on your back first, 
change slowly push yourself up hug up last bring your knees feet back together sit down on your heels slide your hands down grab your heels from the outside thumbs outside fingers inside full palm grip on your heels grab it sauce and gasana stretch up tuck your chin to your chest and go down chin to chest forehead to knees top of head to floor pull on your heels don't lose the grip lift your hips up so in camel pose we bent the spine and open the front of the body. In rabbit pose, we are rounding the spine and squeezing the front of the body. Squeeze your heels together, press your hips forward, lift your shoulders up, round your spine. Good, change, hips down, slowly uncurl. Vertebra by vertebra, disc by disc, very nice. Head up last, turn around, savasana. Head to the front of your mat, <clears throat> feet to the back of your mat. I was so eager to take a sip of my water there that I spilled it. Heels together, toes fall open, arms down, palms face the ceiling, eyes open, mouth closed, breathing in and emptying out. And just foam rolling the body with your breath. Option to stay here for a luxurious savasana, or you can join me in a little bit of a um, core workout. Bend your legs so your feet are on the floor. And then lift your feet up, keep your knees bent. So knees over hips, shins parallel to the ceiling. Interlace your fingers, lift your head and bring your hands behind you at the nape of your neck. Spread your elbows wide, chin a little to the chest, neck long. From here, start to straighten your right leg to the back wall so you feel your abdomen catch. Try to keep the lower back on the floor, tilt your hips forward a little bit, and then start to bring right elbow towards left knee, look slightly to the left. Good. Pull everything back to center. Bend the right leg. From here, straighten your left leg. Again, tuck the tailbone under a little bit. Try to keep the lower back on the floor, stomach in. Bring left elbow towards the right knee, looking slightly to the right. Pull everything back to center. Straighten the right leg, right elbow towards left knee. Come back to center. Straighten the left leg. Turn left elbow towards right knee. Come back to center. And then pick up the pace for bicycle kicks. Just feel your core engaging for five, four, Three, two, and one. Good, lower down, arms down, eyes open. So sometimes we think of yoga as like purely the postures, but actually in a lot of styles of yoga, you do like drills as well, like right? Like you would in other physical activities. There's drills in yoga that you can do. Um, and this actually is like not a new thing, like Vishnu Ghosh, like Vishnu Ghosh's um, Yoga College of India in Kolkata, which is still actually around right? Like they would do drills. A lot of them were weightlifters, stuff like that. Vikram was a big weightlifter. So sometimes we're like core exercise. That's not yoga, but believe it or not, actually some drills are part of yoga, just like the postures themselves. Another optional setup. You can always roll off to the side or legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. And I actually have drills for a lot of the 26 and two postures. So if you're ever interested in some of those, come find me. Okay, second set, fixed firm, open your knees, open your feet. If first set was difficult, open your knees wider. If first set was easy peasy, pumpkin easy, knees together. If you can sit down between your heels, put your palms on your soles, right elbow, left elbow, head back, head to floor, tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head. So second set, you can try getting a deeper back bend. You can try bringing your knees back together, but knees never come off the floor. For those of you that like can always do this posture, no problem, knees are always on the floor, you have healthy knees, can try a little drill to get a deeper thigh and knee stretch. Squeeze your butt, keep your knees on the floor, and start to lift your hips up towards the ceiling. You should feel a nice stretch in the kneecaps and thighs. Good, lower the hips back down. Squeeze your glutes, press your hips to the ceiling so your butt comes off the floor. Keep your knees on the floor, slowly lower down. Last time, squeeze your tush, press your hips up, Good, and hips back down. Change, hands to your feet, push yourself up, pedal up, last. Middle of your mat, you can do second set of half tortoise or you can try a wide-legged child's pose. Feet together, open your knees, sink your hips down, and for child's pose, you're just gonna put your hands on the floor and reach your arms forward. So with half tortoise, the palms are together and the elbows and wrists are off the floor. Child's pose is a little bit more active, palms face the floor, can let your arms rest down. It's a little bit more of a hip stretch with the knees apart as well. Take a slow inhale through your nose, lengthen forward. 
slow exhale to your nose, sink the body down to the floor. Good change, put your hands on the floor, push yourself up, keep your knees apart, feet together, lift your hips up for a second set of camel. Um, you can do second set as you would with your hands on your back or I'll take us through some drills to eventually go into full camel. So for the drills for full camel, hands to heart center, you're gonna drop your head back and basically try to play patty cakes with the back wall, like you're trying to high five the wall behind you. So straighten your right leg, right arm back, I should say, keep your knees bent, straighten your right arm back, bring it back, left arm back, like you're trying to high five the wall, left hand back, both hands back, like patty cake, patty cake, baker's man, and eventually you're gonna go back all the way. And eventually hands to floor, like you can high five the floor behind you, and eventually head and toes touch, never forcing your body. Eventually you grab your toes or even your heels or one day your knees with your hands. Good. If you have your hands on your back or your heels, put your hands on your back, push yourself up, head up last. If you're in full camel, hands to floor, straighten your arms, hands together and push yourself up. Good. Okay, bring these feet together hips down, option to do a second set of rabbit, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and go down, or you can join me on your back for plow pose. For plow pose, lie on your back with your hands underneath you, palms face the floor. Bend your legs, feet on the floor, and then lift your feet up to the ceiling. Push your hands into the floor and try to lift your feet up and overhead. So try to touch your feet to the floor behind your head. So you're in a little bit of a plow pose here. If and only if your feet touch the floor, you can bend your legs so you keep your feet on the floor, take your hands off the floor, grab your heels and pull down for ear pressure pose, which looks an awful lot like rabbit pose, but you're on your shoulders rather than your shins. Option to stay here or place your hands on your lower back with the upper arms on the floor. So the arms are bent, hands on the lower back, and then you're gonna lift your feet up overhead and press the hips forward for shoulder stand. Okay, if you're in shoulder stand, lower your feet back down overhead into plow, put your hands back on the floor, palms face the floor, and slowly roll out vertebra by vertebra. If you did shoulder stand or plow and you would like um, a counter stretch, bring your hands back underneath you, bend your elbows and drop your head back for fish pose uh, in shoulder stand and plow pose. We really tuck the chin to the chest, so this is a great way to release tension from the throat. Good. Tuck your chin back in, lower your head down, bring your arms out. Everybody together change, turn around. Savasana. Arms down, legs down, slow inhale. Even slower exhale. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Great. Come to the middle of your mat, head to knee, Johnny Shirasana, first set normal, right leg out, left leg in, two legs make an L, inhale, arms over head, stretch up, exhale, turn to your right, tuck your chin to your chest, go down. You can bend your right leg as much as you want, touch knee and head together, interlock your ten fingers up to the webbing, under the ball of your foot, flex your toes back. Change, arms up, left leg out, right leg all the way in, stretch up, turn to your left, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. If it's easy to touch your forehead and knee together with a bent leg, see if you can straighten or even lock your leg. Bend elbows down, suck stomach in, right elbow down, right shoulder down, roll into the right. Good, change, arms up, both legs out in front of you. If you're skipping, sit up, stay here. Otherwise, lay down and sit up. Second sets, or pardon me, first set stretching, posture Uttanasana, bend your knees, hook onto your big toes with middle and index fingers, thumbs on top, scoot your butt back right left. Knees can stay bent at first, fold forward with a flat back. If your legs are straight, skip your butt out even more, lock your legs, puff up your chest and fold forward, stomach to thighs, pull, chest to knees, stretch, one day toes and head touch. Good, stay seated for spine twist. Come on up, keep your butt on the floor, bend your left leg on floor, touch right heel to left knee corner, right arm close behind you, left arm up and over, grab left knee with left hand, hand heel and knee touch, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over right shoulder twist. You can keep your right hand behind you or wrap it behind you for a half bind. One more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist and twist and twist. 
Good, change, unwind, swap out your legs. I'm gonna show you from the side. Bend right leg on floor, left heel to right knee, left arm behind you, right arm up, over. Try to grab a right knee with right hand. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over left shoulder twist. Try to point your right toes, keep your right knee on the floor, left foot on the floor. If you can balance, take your left hand behind you, wrap it for a half bind. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look back, twist, twist, twist. Good, change, unwind, turn around, savasana. Use the floor as a prop, as a tool. Imagine your whole body lengthening and realigning to this hard, flat surface. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Second set, you can do the same or a little bit different. Right leg out, left leg in. So second set, if you'd like, have your legs wider. You can have your hand on the outer or inner thigh, reach your left arm up overhead. Option to stay here or slowly come down, catching your foot with one or both hands. Right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. This is a great stretch to the left side body. Good, really exchange, slowly come out. Left leg out, right leg in. Again, your legs can be wider. Start to reach your right arm up overhead and slowly fold. It's a great stretch to the right side body. It's really good for stretching the lower back as well. Left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. Open your chest like a flower petal blooming. Good, release, keep your left leg long, right leg out, we're gonna do a wide leg stretch. Flex your toes back, put your hands on the floor, stick your butt out a little bit and start to walk forward. Just like first set of stretching, keep a flat back. So rather than concaving, rounding your spine, stick your butt out and pull forward. One day forearms or even chest touches the floor. Nice center thigh stretch. Good, release, walk yourself back up. I'm gonna give us three options for the spine twist. Option one, sit crisscross applesauce. Option two, try a half lotus. Left leg out in front of you, bend your right foot on top of your right thigh. And you'll notice this is a lot like on tree pose in class. Option three, full lotus, left foot on top of right foot. Okay, pardon me, left foot on top of right thigh. From here, right arm behind you, left hand to right knee. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over right shoulder twist. If you can balance here, take your right hand off the floor, wrap behind you. If you're in half lotus or full lotus, see if you can catch your right foot with your right hand for a bind. Good, change, unwind. Other side, if you're sitting crisscross applesauce, switch the apples. If you're doing half lotus, switch the leg. If you're doing full lotus though, you want the left foot always on top. Pretty much every style of yoga, right foot on bottom, left foot on top for lotus. Left hand behind you, right hand to left knee, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over left shoulder twist. You can keep your left hand behind you or wrap it behind you for a half bind. Keep spine straight, chest up, rib cage open. Good, unwind, and if you're doing full lotus, try the full down lotus, grabbing right foot with right hand, left foot with left hand. Good, change, unwind, very nice, turn around, Shavasana. So if you take the, um, the shoulder rotation seriously in 26 and two yoga in that last spine twist, um, you know, lifting the arm up and over or reaching the arm behind you for a half bind, that unlocks a lot of other cool spine twist shoulder rotations and um, other styles of yoga. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Final breathing, Kabbalabhati, sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels, hands on your thighs. Lick your lips, swallow a couple times, concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun. All you have to do is exhale. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Lick your lips and swallow a couple times. You're welcome to do second set as we did first set, but a fun fact, in pretty much every other style of yoga, Kapalbhati breathing is through the nose. So if you'd like second set, you can try that variation. It's the same idea. You're gonna pull your belly in as you exhale through your nose. When the stomach relaxes, the lungs will automatically take in air. Definitely lubricate your throat, swallow a couple times. Inhale through your nose and begin.
five, four, three, two, one. Good for you. Honor yourself. Give yourself a hug. High five. Pat on the back. Turn around. Final savasana. Ooh, seven fifteen on the dot. High five. Go team. Turn around savasana. Close your eyes. Open your arms and legs. And take a deep, life-giving breath. Sometimes when I take a yoga class where I can't do everything or it feels like I can't do anything, I get kind of frustrated, like my ego's in the way and I'm like, oh, I wanna be like that person. Oh, I could never be that person, you know, whatever it is. And my, my true hope for you in this class is that if there's something that like you can't quite do just yet, just think of it as like eventually or in the future, right? Nothing has to happen all at once. In fact, if we could do everything our first day of yoga, Yoga would be incredibly boring, and I would tell you, find something new to do. But the truth is, I've never met somebody who could, you know, who could do everything the first day. So just keep that in mind, especially when you're practicing new things, learning new skills, just to be gentle with yourself, be kind to yourself, take a slow inhale through your nose, trusting in your body, trusting your practice. Slow exhale through your nose. Thank yourself for coming to class, showing up for yourself. Good for you. Picture yourself in perfect, radiant health. 